At Benedictine, we promise our students an affordable and attainable undergraduate and graduate education. An education infused with the Benedictine values. Faculty who make students learning their first priority. A support system dedicated to their success. Comprehensive preparation to enter the job market. And a caring community in which they become better, better learners, better leaders, and better world citizens. If it wasn't for our students, there's no point of any of us being here in the first place. What we like to do is to give them a strong foundation so they can do whatever they want to do and follow their dreams after. I think everything's kind of like prepared me to go out into the real world, like um, starting like freshman year to now, whether it be like classes, like out of like school experiences, work opportunities. Well, my advisor is uh, Dr. Jones. She's been incredibly helpful in directing me towards internships, uh, just opportunities in general. Any academic advisor on campus, whether it is one of your new student advisors or your faculty advisor, really are here to connect those students to the different resources and empower them to make their decisions and educate them on the curriculum here towards graduation. I think our faculty are second to none in the, in the way that they interact with our students. They engage the student in learning. Absolutely everything we do, I think regardless of your faculty, your staff member, administrator, whatever on this campus, we're doing it for the greater good and uh, development of our students. They put a heavy emphasis on ethics and why they're important and why it's good to benefit the greater good and not just yourself. I really think that at Benedictine we care about the person from beginning to end to forever. Anything I really want to do, I'm able to do it. So as a freshman, I was able to get into the research program right away. I researched at Argonne National Labs one summer. I was a nuclear chemist there. I looked at different um, types of ways to restrict nuclear waste. That was a really big opportunity for me. Just thinking about the political science department for a little bit, we have run everything from mock trial to model United Nations. And of course, the speaker series allows students not only to come to those events and hear from state level and national speakers of prominence, but also often to interact with them, to have private sessions with them, private Q&As. It gives their undergraduate experience a feeling that it's special, that it's not something you get at a larger school, that it really is intimate. It reinforces the idea that small classrooms, I can talk to my professors pretty much whenever I need to, an open door policy. That's a really good thing. That's something we're very proud of. As much as we've grown over you know, the last several decades, we're still relatively small and that means we can pay attention to the individual student. After kind of uh, visiting the campus, uh, met with a couple of faculty members, the, uh, the small classroom sizes, just the overall uh, strong reputation that the College of Business has, I ended up uh, being pretty dead set on uh, knowing that I would transfer to Benedictine University. I definitely feel like I have a crazy advantage just because I do have real life experiences to guide what I put down on paper. Everything's kind of like geared me towards like being ready for the real world because everything offers like a different insight. I studied in Florence, Italy for about a month. It was an amazing experience. I took two short-term study abroad programs. I went to Cuba and I went to China. The study abroad exposes students to other cultures. It exposes them to different ways of thinking, different ways of living, different ways of kind of understanding the world as we know it. It's important that each of us as instructors and as a mentor, we encourage those students that you can do anything you put your mind to. As they progress through their courses, you see the self-confidence starting to develop. It's, again, an absolute blessing to be a little bit of a small part of, of that journey in their lives. I felt like this was very affordable and the degree is essentially invaluable. I didn't graduate a lot of student loan from Benedictine. I graduated from Benedictine without any student debt and uh, that was thanks to the staff's work in trying to, to make Benedictine for, for me. It's part of the entire um, tradition of, of Benedictine education that you should live to your full potential, you know, strive to, to do everything uh, to maximize your, your talents, your God-given talents. It doesn't matter what major you have or what you want to do, but that you're going to go out and be successful because we've prepared you well. We've taught you how to think inside and outside the classroom. There's so many clubs on campus. There's always a way to get involved. As a part of Mosaic, like we meet weekly, and it's all just to plan out events that we have throughout the semester. We also do like a lot of service. The run service is a big part of the group. UNICEF is the United Nations Children's Fund, and our goal is to 
make sure that every, one day every child gets the right to a future and that no children are dying of preventable causes. This semester I'm the president of the Catholic Board, so we're just really giving students a place where we can take charge of what we do and we can make, it feels like we can make a change here. So to find a club that you really enjoy and get in there. Well, some of the key lessons I think really develops into, you learn about yourself through athletics. You learn how to be part of a team and what role you have on that team. This is a special place. People take time for people at this place. And when I bring recruits around and, and they get that feeling of, boy, I was impressed by everybody I met today. You know, from the people in the admissions office to the student athletes that they met. Uh, and that's what's special about this place. We take time for people. And it's much more than a classroom. It's much more than playing a game. The students that really engage and participate and take advantage of career development have huge successes, you know. We see such growth happen during that point from the time they walk in to the time that they actually will get that internship or that job that they want. Once we complete that prescribed course of studies, we will all have some type of degree or some accomplishment on a piece of paper. The piece of paper looks nice on the wall but it's what can you do, what can you back it up with? What validates that piece of paper is not the conferring of it. What validates that piece of paper is the person behind it with their name and what they do with it. How they use what they've learned, not just in the classroom, but that education outside the classroom. What makes our, our graduates different is they, whether they're standing over a patient or representing one in a court of law or representing their business or standing before a classroom of kids to teach, or being researchers or scientists or whatever it might be, they're gonna do the right thing at the right time for the right reasons because they're Benedictine. The 21st century will need people who go out into the world and able to go cross-culturally to the other, to embrace them as friend, as partner, as individuals wanting to make the world a better place. You take that special ingredient, which is foundational to this institution, but then also add our state-of-the-art facilities, our highly competitive and qualified faculty, and I think you begin to see the Benedictine difference. At Benedictine, we promise our students an affordable and attainable undergraduate and graduate education infused with the Benedictine values that create better learners, better leaders, and better world citizens. That's our promise to you. Keeping it is how Benedict University has become the fastest growing university in the country since 2000.